is the second largest city in the United States. With eight million people, it's not just a city, but a sprawling region filled with diversity, commerce, entertainment, perfect weather, beaches, and plenty of traffic. Unlike New York City, London, or San Francisco, cities with definable patterns, LA is sprawled out, scattered from the Pacific Ocean out to the desert, making it hard to define. In spite of this, many would agree that both LA and Southern California have defining characteristics that can't be found anywhere else. I like LA um, because of the, the atmosphere. It's very relaxed. Um, it's a good place to live permanently, you know. Um, you can get a taste of other cultures, other areas, other cities, but it's a perfect mix of urban, rural, um, vacation, social, media, everything. It works out perfectly. Perhaps the first thing someone thinks of when they hear Los Angeles is the weather. The rumors of near-perfect weather conditions year-round are, in fact, true. With the type of culture that it ha you know, we have here, it feels warm. And I don't mean the weather, but I mean the actual people who, who uh, you get to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's uh, Orange County or, uh, like I said, Los Angeles. Um, there's no, really nothing like it anywhere else in the, uh, in the States. Perhaps the first thing someone thinks of when they hear Los Angeles is the weather. The rumors of near-perfect weather conditions year-round are, in fact, true. The Bath El Hamid Mosque, which is in Chino, California, just 30 miles east of downtown L.A., has found its own special place in the history of the landscape. Built nearly 30 years ago, the Bath El Hamid Masjid plays a crucial role in connecting Amity youth to a sense of community and structure. I think it fits in perfectly. I mean, you have so much space. I mean, we're on five acres. It's amazing. Uh, we have our own basketball court. It's pretty big. We have an industrial-sized kitchen. We have everything here that, you know, pretty much people in other mosques, like, would only dream about. So I feel, I feel really lucky. Because of the sprawling nature of the city, Los Angeles is home to many ethnic enclaves and a great sense of diversity permeates the entire region. With this diversity comes a strong sense of tolerance, decency, and openness among the residents. As soon as you step outside, I mean, if you go to Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, you'll see two or three ethnicities. But once you're in Southern California, you'll run into everybody, all walks of life, every creed, every color, every, every religion, and so, I mean, that's what makes it awesome being an Ahmadi Muslim. It's like you kind of belong here because everybody's so diverse and you just fit right in with the flow, you know? I'm very grateful to actually have been raised in Southern California. Um, a lot of cultural diversity. I feel like uh, that's affected me a lot growing up, uh, kind of shaping me into the individual that I am. I feel like um, being that I was born and raised in Southern California, it kind of helped me to be open to other cultures, people, different types of things. Many would argue that with the freedom of a car and open highways comes a chance for amazing day trips to different destinations across California. With so many residents used to driving every day, a 50-mile trip can feel like visiting a neighbor next door. Los Angeles prides itself on its professional sports. With a storied history of championship teams and world-famous players, residents will be quick to say just how important these teams are in their lives. At long last, what's most defining about anybody from Southern California is their deep-seated sense of pride for their place. If asked, most will tell you that despite the traffic the congestion, and even the cost of living, they would never live anywhere else.